the U.S. Air Force is always on the move, upgrading their aircraft and bolstering their capabilities. Most of what they're up to remains under the radar for us regular people, but sometimes we're fortunate enough to get a sneak peek at the fascinating advancements they're working on, just like the recent discoveries these sailors made. According to the sailors, a mysterious U.S. aircraft had been kept under wraps, and now people are curious and asking questions. Here, we're going to delve into what we know about this enigmatic aircraft that had everyone talking. We will unravel the qualities that set it apart from the usual suspects in the U.S. Air Force inventory and the implications of spotting an aircraft like this. Join us as we reveal the truth about the U.S. secret airplane that was spotted by sailors over the Pacific Ocean. Every now and then, some people stumble upon bizarre happenings linked to top-secret military facilities. This was what happened when a fishing crew sailing across the vast Pacific Ocean en route to Vancouver spotted something in the sky. This object, they claimed, was strange and didn't quite fit the mold of your typical aircraft. It didn't move like a regular plane, and at one point, it simply vanished into thin air. Naturally, the fishermen shared their extraordinary encounter online, causing quite a buzz. It reached the point where even the Pentagon started feeling a tad uneasy. They swiftly responded, claiming the fishermen witnessed a U.S. drone undergoing aerodynamics testing. That explanation seemed reasonable, but hardly anyone was buying it. As it turned out, the military's leak was nothing more than a well-coordinated diversion from something far more intriguing they'd been secretly working on for quite some time. It was, in fact, the very aircraft that had been undergoing tests over the Pacific Ocean, and it had the extraordinary ability to become invisible, not just to radars, but to the naked eye. Over two decades ago, the X-44 Manta was one of several projects brewing within the U.S. Air Force as a groundbreaking take on stealth aircraft. When it made its debut, it was way ahead of its time. What caught everyone's attention was the fact that it didn't have a tail, a fact that left most insiders flabbergasted. By eliminating the tail section, the X-44 significantly reduced its radar return, creating an even stealthier fighter than America's highly capable F-22. Beyond that tailless wonder, the Lockheed Martin engineers also wowed the Pentagon with the aircraft's exceptional features. The Manta, originally designed to be subsonic, turned out to be surprisingly fast, reaching Mach 1 in just seven seconds. This quality caught the attention of developers, who decided to take it further. They equipped the aircraft to climb up to 12 miles in altitude, making it capable of scanning vast areas with its high-precision radars. And of course, a remarkable plane like this needed some impressive weaponry. They also added ultra-fast hypersonic missiles and adjustable bombs to the mix. The X-44 was positioned as a futuristic evolution of the iconic F-22 Raptor fighter, with six variants simultaneously offered to the Air Force. Lockheed Martin had teamed up with NASA to explore the concept of creating an agile fighter that doesn't rely on its tail for control. This concept heavily relies on thrust vector controls to change the fighter's flight path. NASA had already achieved remarkable success using thrust vector controls on the F-15 Active, which was essentially a modified F-15 Eagle. They took the front wing canards from an F-A-18 Hornet and paired them with thrust vectoring jet nozzles, resulting in a fighter that outperformed the legendary Eagle in many ways. This thrust vector control can point or aim the jet engine's nozzle in different directions. In some jets like the F-22 Raptor, the nozzle can move up or down in a single plane. On the other hand, in jets like Russia's fourth-generation Su-35, the nozzle can move a full 360 degrees, offering even more dramatic options for rapidly changing directions during a head-on engagement. It's this capability that gives fighters like the F-22 and Su-35 the edge in terms of agility. They can change direction far more aggressively than advanced jets without thrust vector controls. Now, Lockheed Martin's approach was intriguing. Instead of starting from scratch, they decided to use the F-22 Raptor's design as a foundation for their technology demonstrator. Even though the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter had begun test flights three years prior, the F-22 was still considered America's best and most capable fighter when it came to engaging enemy jets, thanks in part to its thrust vector control. Around the same time, there was another F-22-based concept in the works 
This one was known as the Sea Raptor. While the X-44 Manta aimed to make the F-22 even stealthier by removing its tail, the Sea Raptor project envisioned placing F-22S on America's aircraft carriers. These jets could fly faster, cover more distance, and carry more ordnance than the F-35Cs destined for carrier duty. The F-22 Raptor had already set itself apart from other fighters by incorporating stealth as a fundamental part of its design. While previous air superiority fighters like the F-15 relied on sheer performance and later added radar-absorbent coatings for stealth, the F-22 was designed to delay or avoid detection altogether. Its powerful Pratt and Whitney F-119 engines also allowed it to reach speeds as high as Mach 2.25 and its thrust vector controls enabled it to evade inbound missiles effectively. Even back in 1999, the F-22 was the most capable air superiority fighter globally. But the X-44 Manta concept could take it further, making it even stealthier. With similar performance and heightened stealth, it would have transitioned from Lockheed's drawing board to its production facilities. But there's more to it than just stealth. The X-44 Manta had another advantage over existing stealth fighters in terms of payload capacity and range. While the F-22 Raptor can carry a maximum of six air-to-air -air weapons internally, the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter is limited to just four. In contrast, the X-44's broad fuselage would likely have allowed for more ordnance in carrying space inside the aircraft and overall payload capability. A similar concept was previously explored with the F-16 XL, which had a broad, wedge-shaped fuselage like the X-44. This design provided superior lift, range, fuel capacity, and payload compared to the standard F-16 Fighting Falcon. So, the X-44 Manta had the potential to offer a substantial boost in both stealth and combat capabilities. Despite all the innovation, the X-44 Manta project suddenly went quiet and information started disappearing from the internet. That was quite odd. Officially, none of the Manta prototypes got military approval, but the claim that NASA was interested in them for testing tailless structures sounds a bit far-fetched. However, after a long silence, random fishermen spotted a plane that looked eerily similar to the X-44, and it seemed to have acquired the Vanishing Act, too. It turns out the project hadn't been abandoned. It's quite the opposite. The Pentagon saw immense potential in this super-secretive fighter and began wiping out all traces of it before potential foes could get wind of its existence. So, even though it seemed like the Manta project had vanished into thin air, it's very much alive and kicking, undergoing significant developments. Its concept is now a recurring theme in the official depictions of the Air Force's upcoming air superiority fighter, part of the NGAD, or Next Generation Air Dominance Program. In 2022, the U.S. Air Force surprised the world by announcing they had designed, built, and tested a prototype aircraft under the NGAD program. This new jet is poised to be more advanced than any fighter before it. Its mission is not just to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the advanced fifth-generation fighters produced by America's rivals like Russia and China, but to dominate them for decades to come. Around the same time, the Air Force unveiled an image commemorating a milestone depicting a wedge-shaped aircraft without a conventional tail section. This led some to wonder if the artist's work had any connection to the NGAD announcement that coincided with it. Since then, both official Air Force images and renderings from prominent aviation companies like Lockheed Martin have consistently depicted similar wedge-shaped aircraft. Some have pointed towards Northrop's competent but overlooked YF-23 Black Widow II as a possible precursor to this tailless design. That's because the YF-23, often known as the Black Widow II, was a key competitor to the legendary F-22 Raptor, also known as the YF-22, in a competition to create the future air dominance fighter for the 21st century. This contest aimed to counter potential threats from the Soviet Union. While the YF-23 excelled in certain aspects and met some government requirements more effectively than the YF-22, it didn't secure the military contract. Back in 1978, when the U.S. first spotted new Soviet aircraft like the Su-27 and MiG-29 on satellite imagery, they saw these as direct competitors to the F-15C. 
This raised concerns about maintaining air dominance, leading to the creation of the Advanced Tactical Fighter or ATF program. Multiple American aircraft manufacturers vied for this opportunity. In 1986, Lockheed Martin, Northrop, and McDonnell Douglas were selected to develop prototypes in a four-year time frame to defend American airspace. Northrop took an innovative approach with the YF-23. It featured diamond-shaped wings and a movable V-shaped tail, replacing traditional horizontal stabilizers. This unique tail design could tilt up to 50 degrees on each side to provide both pitch and yaw control during flight. This design choice even influenced the Russian Su-57, although they retained horizontal stabilizers and had less angled vertical surfaces compared to the YF-23. The YF-23 was powered by Pratt & Whitney engines, allowing supersonic cruise speeds without afterburners. This was a critical factor affecting fuel consumption, range, and speed, an area where the Russians have faced challenges. Additionally, the YF-23 was stealthier than the F-22, contributing to its radar signature performance. It also had one weapons bay in the mid-lower fuselage, unlike the F-22, which featured two smaller bays. These design characteristics, along with its long list of specifications and stealth potential, make it intriguing to explore why it wasn't chosen. The first YF-23 prototype, dubbed the Black Widow II, took flight in 1990. Painted in a dark gray, almost black color with a red hourglass on the lower fuselage, reminiscent of the Black Widow Spider. But soon it was renamed the Gray Ghost. By this time, the Cold War was winding down, and there was skepticism about the need for a fifth-generation program as the main adversaries were fading. However, at least one had to move forward due to the significant investment in the YF-23 and YF-22 prototypes. The YF-23, despite its stealth advantages, lacked high agility, which was a crucial factor in close combat dogfights, where the YF-22 excelled. In 1991, the decision was made, and the YF-22 won the ATF program, eventually earning the name F-22 Raptor. Air combat tactics evolved towards beyond visual range engagements, but dogfighting remained a possibility. The F-22's agility was deemed essential to handle potential threats like agile Russian fighters such as the Su-35 and Su-30. The YF-23's story didn't end there. The Navy was also seeking a new stealth aircraft for its advanced tactical fighter program. Northrop approached the Navy with a modified version of the YF-23, known as the NATF-23. This variant featured canards, different exhaust nozzles, folding wings, and reinforced landing gear for carrier operations. There have been recent rumors about Japan potentially using this aircraft's information, involving Northrop, to develop their advanced fighters. Moreover, Northrop isn't the only player in town skilled at building stealth fighters without tails. In fact, based on these artist renderings and the practical challenges of rapidly developing a new fighter, the X-44 Manta could very well represent an early version of what may become a key component of America's next generation of fighter aircraft. After decades of fast-paced fighter development, certain elements had become the norm for a capable tactical aircraft. This included features like a conventional tail section with both vertical and horizontal control surfaces. While both the F-22 and later the F-35 sported slightly different tails compared to older fourth-generation fighters, the X-44 Manta aimed to achieve similar levels of maneuverability without relying on traditional tail surfaces. The next-gen X-44 is designed for covert missions in high-risk zones, where it can strike and disappear without a trace. To achieve this, it's equipped with a unique twin engine placed in the center of its hull, propelling it to a mind-boggling 2,000 miles per hour. It's so fast that only the SR-71 Blackbird can compete, but this new creation is a full-fledged fighter. What's more, it has made significant strides in stealth technology. Initially, the Manta had a basic stealth coating, but it has since been upgraded with a high-tech skin called Parallax, which serves as both a camera and a display. Essentially, the lower part of the plane mirrors what the upper part sees, and vice versa, rendering the plane invisible, just as those lucky fishermen witnessed. However, this advanced skin falls short when it comes to deflecting radar waves designed to detect enemy aircraft. 
That's where the X-44's ingenious radar suppression system comes into play. It's not just about suppression, it's about deception. When a fighter emits reflective waves around it, radars can still detect disruptions in space. So, engineers had to come up with a different solution. The complex was designed to intercept a radar's frequency, disrupt it, and then send its own wave at the same frequency through the aircraft. This ingenious trick creates an illusion of transparency to radar, rendering the Manta nearly invisible to both advanced detection technology and the naked eye. Interestingly, there's a rumor circulating that the X-44 might not even be a conventional plane, but rather a drone. This might hold some truth, given the United States' track record in developing secretive combat drones with extraordinary capabilities. An example is the Northrop Grumman X-47B, a groundbreaking multi-purpose attack drone. It's not your ordinary remote-controlled machine, as it boasts a host of innovative features. While the Manta focuses on invisibility, the X-47B was designed with the ability to take off from and land on an aircraft carrier autonomously. To achieve this, the designers came up with a clever design feature. The X-47B is the only drone that can fold its wings, ensuring maximum compactness for carrier operations. It is also the first unmanned aerial vehicle equipped with genuine artificial intelligence. Its onboard computer can handle various flight elements like takeoff, cruising, and safe carrier landings, all without human intervention. This drone is a significant boost to the U.S. Navy's capabilities, and it packs a punch. Loaded with 2,200-pound JDAM smart ammunition, it can devastate even the most fortified positions, sending heavy mobile equipment flying with its shockwave. China recently made headlines by claiming to have created the first carrier-based drone, but it turns out they weren't pioneers in this field. Furthermore, China still faces challenges in mid-flight drone refueling, whereas the United States has already tackled this problem. The Boeing MQ-25 Stingray is another unmanned tanker aircraft developed as part of the U.S. Navy development program. It bears a striking resemblance to the X-47B in terms of its features. They have the same top speed, same flight altitude, and identical folding wings. However, it serves a different purpose. It's not a combat drone, but rather designed solely for safe drone refueling, often partnering with attack drones like the X-47B. When the attack drone heads out on a mission and drops its payload on an enemy target, the MQ-25 arrives to refuel it, allowing it to take off again and deliver another powerful blow. The Boeing MQ-25 Stingray originated from the carrier-based aerial refueling system program, which evolved from the earlier unmanned carrier-launched airborne surveillance and strike program. It can be split into two major parts, the MQ-25 air system, which is the air vehicle itself, and the unmanned carrier aviation mission control system. This system is vital for carrier integration and overseeing the MQ-25 air vehicle and its payload. PMA-268 is in charge of managing these segments as the government's lead systems integrator. In terms of design, Boeing's MQ-25 relies on a Rolls-Royce AE-3007N turbofan engine generating 10,000 pounds of thrust. This engine is a variant of the one used in the Navy's MQ-4 Sea Triton. While the MQ-25 may not be as stealthy as flying wing UAVs, it does have a stealthy fuselage shaping, a flush inlet to protect engine blades from radar, and a distinctive V-tail. In 2021, it made an impressive debut by conducting its first aerial refueling with an F-35 C Joint Strike Fighter. This marked a significant milestone, as it became the Navy's first unmanned system designed to operate in a future carrier strike group. It's worth noting that the E-2D Advanced Hawkeye, initially not designed for in-air refueling, was modified to add this capability in 2019. These tests represent the Navy's exploration of effectively integrating unmanned and manned aircraft within the carrier air wing. Besides aerial refueling tests, the MQ-25 has been undergoing deck handling and other behind-the-scenes testing to prepare for fleet introduction. The prototype was even loaded onto the USS George H.W. Bush CVN-77 of the Nimitz class in 2021. Although the drones have yet to take flight from the carrier, the Navy is working on their integration, including logistics like moving them around on elevators and within the hangar deck. 
As for the future of this tanker, the prototype is expected to be deployed aboard American aircraft carriers by 2026. Despite ongoing testing, the MQ-25 shows promise for extending the range of the carrier air wing without the need for a human pilot. These impressive combat drones and top-secret invisible fighters underscore the prowess of American aviation technology. They affirm the country's status as the best of the best, and the U.S. Air Force is getting stronger by the day. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click on the link appearing on your screen right now to enjoy another of our interesting videos. See you there.